today I got our very special How to Draw Robin. I'm going to do it in the style of Arkham City. Uh, perfect day to draw. It's a relaxing day. It's rainy outside. So this is a perfect day to just get your pencils and start drawing. So I'm excited. I'm going to take a .5 mechanical. I'm just going to start by sketching the basic shapes out. So I'm going to start with, I always like to start with the chin for some reason. I'm going to move it in a little more in the paper. That way I don't cut off anything. So I'll start with the chin, just a little line. Then I'll bring it up. Same with this side. And because most of his face is going to be covered by the hood, I'm just sketching this basic form out first. Because the hood will be covering it. And the hood comes back under, and it comes under the chin. So you have this simple shape. So now that you got the head in, I don't want to work too much on the hood, but just put this basic shape in it first and he's got a little circle piece which some of it's covered by the cape it attaches all that and for the body what I usually like to do I like to start with just a line to know where the body's going and so the cape is going to come off the sides. It's going to come down the shoulders and you won't see all of it. But for the body, because with, when drawing Robin, a key important factor really is the key important factor here is um, you want to get the suit right because he's got a s s detail in the suit. So all I'm doing is sketching a very basic form. You can see I'm Making this line, the, the pectoral muscles, it's about as big as the head. And I'm just making these lines and I'm just marking off on the suit because the suit is really what makes this Robin, you know, what makes it look like Robin. Uh, for the belt, and this, this is a fun one. I love, I think of all the way to draw, this is my favorite. I'm just going at it, making little marks here and there, and I'm making little marks just to all guidelines and you know I'm using real light pencil just sketching in the places that are going to get all the finished details so for his arm he has really really cool um, armor on it the forearm so we won't sketch the forearms yet I'm just going to sketch Just your line, but you can see the sleeve ends about right there. You know, so far, so so far. Once again, this is the basic form. Then this arm, this arm, and this is the front of the head. It's looking a little bit slightly t towards that way, uh, but you can see where I made the guidelines, the marks. You can see I marked straight, and then another mark just to get familiar where it's going to go. And then on this side. And I love drawing like like I said before, this is probably my favorite way to draw because I'm just making a form out of simple lines. And you know, th this is probably the way I draw. Like I always say in every video, find the way you like to draw best. And this to me is like my favorite way to draw because I'm just making lines, I'm going with the flow. And I'm not going to worry about the legs like you know whenever I do the drawings I like to get the upper body and those parts in mainly. But you can see I'm just drawing the hand here with the finger. I'm making it sketchy, but the cape's going to come all the way behind. And I'll make the cape coming out in this one. So the cape will come out. And when it comes to the cape, the cape doesn't really go too far down. You know, it's not all the way down. It's about halfway, so I'm just marking that. 
So that's your basic forms to start with. And I love, I love drawing like this. I say it so many times, but this is just very fun. It's very relaxing. And oh, I love this pencil! I love this mechanical pencil, man. It's got such a great smooth quality on this crystal paper. So for this hand, we'll make him holding, holding the staff, his weapon. So I'm just making this come in. I'm just making a very basic hand shape. And so it's going to come down and up. And we'll finish that towards the end. But uh, I guess to work on first, let's get the face being that. So for the face, his mask kind of goes up towards the middle. So he has two little eye marks. Let's get the eye marks in first. They kind of sit right in the middle. And you can make it if you want with pupils. I prefer when I'm doing mask, especially like this, to have it without any eyeballs. You know, just keeping it because there's a mask. Then it just arches up and back down. And it goes inward. And it kind of arches up and it goes all the way down. So the mask kind of looks like that. But it's very skinny towards the middle. That's something make sure you get right. It's very skinny right here. I'm going to make it even skinnier. And it's funny because right now it probably doesn't look right because I haven't shaded it in. But watch, you can see what happens when I shade this mask in. You know, it starts to form. So you just start with those little lines. And I'm going to go back and shade everything better. But then the nose, <clears throat> his nose you can make how you want, but I'm just going to make very simple nostril, the end of the nose, and another little nostril. Because he's kind of got that defined nose from the video game. I'm, I'm drawing it from Arkham City, but I'm also, you know, making my own style on things. Then the mouth, just make a very simple lip shape, and then the bottom of the chin. And for the rest of the cape, I'm going to make this a little lower actually. Just like that. So that's the basic kind of head shape. Then for the outside, you know, you just want to make these lines. Lots of lines for the cape. And just really define these marks. And make it come down just a little. Because you know the cloth is going to come down. So this will be all shaded. I'm just making lines to show the, the value in there. And like I said, uh, please understand because, you know, everyone's been very, very good, but I do get an occasional comment of someone angry or just not, doesn't like the drawing. But please remember, this is my own style. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do drawings without copying someone else's style. I'm trying to, you know, teach you how to draw the character, but also I'm doing it in a style that I kind of like to draw. So, just want to lay it right now. So, just putting the value in behind there. And I'm just going to work the cape more. Like, this is a pencil is amazing for doing lines. So, you just keep going. The cape comes down, wraps over the shoulder. Just really work on it as much as you want, you know. Kind of get a feel for how many lines you want. You don't want too much, but you want enough. To show that, that it's a cape. And you you can see the video just I have to stop it and continue, so I'm sorry if it just moved like crazy. But like I was saying, so just get a feel for the cape. 
you don't want to do too much, but you want to do just the right amount. And I'm really enjoying this. I, I'm telling you, there's nothing like a rainy day to stay in and draw. You know, it's amazing. So now I'm going to work on the body more. And for the body, you know, he has the sleeve. So I'm just sketching the sleeve in. Like that. What I'm going to do is the basic suit design. That's what I'm going to sketch. I'm first going to sketch the pectoral muscles again. And make a line halfway because that's going to be on the suit and the other end. And I'm going to start with, so you got this basic design and it's kind of a triangle shape right here. So just draw a triangle shape and then a line down here. The triangle shape's a little shaded in. Crap, my pencil lid just broke. So it's kind of shaded in there. And then the suit itself has a line coming up. And you can make these lines very precise. A line coming inward. And it comes out kind of like that. And there's a little dot. Little dot there. And same on this side. It kind of comes inward. It comes out. And a little dot. And I made that too low. With the little dot here. And then for the rest of it, just work the body shapes in. I, I can't tell you enough. Definitely check out these pencils. I did a review and you can see it. it's one of my vlogs. Uh, but highly recommend these pencils. They make some of the most amazing lines. Smooth lines. Great for sketching. So then I'm just drawing down the middle here. And real quick to finish up, he's got two lines that come in. So they kind of wrap in. Kind of like this. Make sure they arch down. And the first one goes like that and that. Almost like that. And then the second one goes a little further. It's kind of skinnier and goes in. Kind of like that. So you get these two shapes of the suit that looks like that. On the other side, so you want to do the same. Remember this side you're not seeing directly on. He's pointed that way a little, so. I'm just sketching that in. And for the arm again. It's kind of like that. And let's get the Robin symbol. Very important you get the Robin symbol right. It kind of goes arch upward. Kind of like that. And then uh, it comes downward. So then it comes back in the skinnier on that side. So the Robin symbol looks something like that. And once again, oh my gosh, I love these pencils! I can never ever do a symbol that that clear, you know, with the other pencils I use. So <clears throat> this is absolutely incredible. So then I'm just going to finish up by drawing the muscles. And when it comes to the arm piece, you know, it's on the arm, it's kind of, it's on the top of the forearm, and it's just like this pad. It's on top of the forearm like that. It's just kind of this pad shape. And it's got a little other shape here, and it just buckles around. So you have little buckles that attach to it. So just make these little shapes. On the top of it, same thing. He's got like a pad shape on the top. And 
And you know he's making a fist, I'll make him make a fist. And then he comes in. It's kind of like that for the hand. You can work more on the detail if you want, you know, really get the details in. And for this hand, not really spending a lot of time on this drawing. You just come in, same thing, you know, draw the basic muscle shapes. And this hand, the forearm, the top of the forearm is going to be on this side, being that it's tilted. So you just make that pattern on here. It's going to come here. Just like this. Something like that. So just really work it in there. Buckles again. Then you can make all the glove dark behind it. And of course, so he's be he's holding it. So you'll see his fingers because they don't have the whole glove. Like something like that. I did it a little sloppy, but you know, I'm gonna go back. Then the his weapon comes out. I'm going to use this ruler and something that's really cool, I learned this a long time ago, if you have a ruler you can take two coins, that way it stays above the paper and it doesn't smear it. And I'm just going to take that and really lightly sketch this in. So it'll be something like this and on most of it he's got a bunch of ridges. And to finish off, I'm going to make it kind of sketchy, you know. So it's going to, if it follows that line, you'll probably see the rest of it back here. You'll see that back here. Something like that for that. So region. Then ultimately, all that's left is the belt. So we'll get the belt. He's got a real stylized belt. It starts with a circle shape. You start with your circle, little rectangle shape in the middle, another shape on the bottom here. I'm trying not to make it messy, it's hard because it's so small. But then little pouches just like Batman. But the important thing is each little pouch has another little thing on the bottom here. So it looks something like that. Same thing on this side. Little pouches. And then just make one more. So it'll be something like that you can draw. So ultimately, all I have to do is shade the cape in, and we'll finish up that. I'm just drawing the bottom of the, the pants. Like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I want to get the line of the cape more defined. So last but not least, just finishing up little basic things here and there. <clears throat> just going to work on the cape and some 
values and things on the end. So what you're trying to do is the cape, it's pretty dark, so I'm going to take a 5B pencil, and not going to push hard, but just, you get the feel for it, I don't want to make it, like I said, too dark, but just enough, and just come back in, you can really get dark with this behind here, get darker with the mask. Really making the values. So just shade all the the mask in. This is important because once you get this value in, it's really going to make it look more finished. I'm just getting that, and of course down the edge here, where the other cape is, where the part of the cape comes down. So just take, I always take the blending stump, I love it, but you know, just come with the blending stump. Blend it all in. I'm going to take my two, number two pencil and just come in and get the lines better. Because you kind of lose some of the lines after you shade sometimes. I'm just doing that. Then I'm going to come with the same pencil where the gloves are. Just shading behind it to really make it pop out better. And these need to be shaded. So I'm just going in with the blending stump. Just adding some value to it. I use a 3B on this side, do the same thing. Add value to his weapon. The 3B again, going down the weapon. And you can tell I really spent a lot of time on this one. And that's because I really love Robin, you know, he's so awesome. So I really wanted to spend more time and get it looking good. And then just behind here. So this is the glove again, so this will be all darker. I'm just coming in pushing the values, really make it pop out more. Then to finish up, if you want, just color, you can just shade the suit in. I'm just taking what's left on the blending stump and going back just to really push, you know, make make the suit seem like it's red and then finally the pants it's got a little line here I'm not worried too much at the pants because that's just like I said part of it but ultimately that's pretty much the finished Robin drawn from from uh, Arkham City and just one final thing coming back because the cape in the background isn't as dark but it's still a little dark I'm just gonna simply come back just barely barely touch the value in the background and I'm gonna work on this more off camera so but that's basically the finished drawing of Robin thank you for requesting it I hope you like it and if you haven't, check out the other videos, they'll pop up. And thanks everyone for subscribing. Thank you.